All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for round two with Groot in this new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 uniform. I decided to give him one of my mighty destructions because truthfully speaking, these days, there's not that many characters that make use of a mighty CTP of destruction because PvP has just become pretty much regeneration authority or refinement sorry yeah <laughs> r and r always get them mixed up but i want to see how this guy actually performs with it because of the fact that it gives him immunity to guard break and on his one through five he actually does not have invincibility and he doesn't have super armor natively so he actually gets guard broken i wouldn't say all the time but it can happen and when it does happen you lose a bit of damage because his fifth gets completely cancelled out usually you would see invincibility Ability on a fifth skill to prevent stuff like that from happening luckily in the case of Groot he actually has a really powerful fourth skill so even if the fifth skill gets cancelled out he still does decent damage and in his tier three it gives him invincibility so most of the time he won't get guard broken here but this skill is cancelable so if for whatever reason it does get interrupted or you get interrupted the skill will continue and you'll still do pretty good damage i've been playing with him and more and more i'm going to tell you guys he's not a tank he's actually very fragile and that's actually quite shocking considering the fact that in my opinion Groot should almost be unkillable based on what we've seen from him in the comics and in the movies he can literally come back from nothing like he literally started off the mcu looking like this ended up looking like this and and now he's back buffer than ever so they should have definitely given him some damage reduction in his kit natively like locking it behind his artifact i think is a pretty scummy move it's a good amount and he's missing the ignore dot so i see what they're trying to do like Groot feels incomplete without the damage reduction if you want to use him as a dps but it is what it is let me show you guys what we can do with him now with a mighty destruction because i'm sure some of you guys are Groot fans and you might want him to be a heavy hitting dps even though at this point he's probably going to be a support character for the majority of people all right let me see how we do against ultron fresh out the juvie let's see how Groot actually performs yes i'm making up Groot's backstory okay they sent him to juvie bro like this is th this is the only way you can explain how you went from like being so like scrawny to being absolutely ripped bro you know the stereotype of like when you come back from prison <laughs> you're like really jacked <laughs> um yeah that's the only explanation i have for like how Groot got so jacked bro swole man making all them gains bro come on all the gains what style deep forest emerging okay deep forest emergent okay hold on hold on hold on uh let, let, him, let him optimize let him optimize there we go oh come on ah unfortunate wood style deep forest emergence and Come on, let me out. I know some of you guys like to delay cancer to three, but I find that for me, that, that that's not the way I want to go about it. So that's not what I do. I insta cancer to three. It's a less, little bit less damage, but it means I guarantee my proc ends up on the fifth and the six. Yes, let's, let's rock. Come on. This is not the Groot from yesteryears. This is the one oof of your nightmares. Swole Nation stand up. <laughs> the swollest of swoles. What? Hey. Don't play with me. Hey, Groot actually kind of slaps. I wish we could take him up to 20, but it's female, so unfortunately we can't. And 15 to 19 is humans, and he's not. But hey, man, Groot swole, okay? He got a power on him. All right, let me see how this goes, boys. Groot versus Gore. GG's. Oh, we got guard broken, unfortunate. So even with the immunity to guard break, we still cannot stop this clown from guard breaking us. Don't you just love when their marble creates unnecessary mechanics to make their own money-making tools? 
make them less money because like when you have a ctp that's supposed to give you immunity to guard break and then you create a boss that just guard breaks you even when you use that ctp why would people use it like it's actually so dumb so like whether the character has immunity to guard break or not on their ctp it, it's not doing anything because <sighs> it's so dumb you guys are jackasses like y'all need to go back and change this to super guard break immunity so it actually has value because then otherwise would you use it if the character just doesn't have super armor it <laughs> makes the cdp isn't really gonna solve the issue come really all these attacks doing jack wow that sucks come on man I hate I hate attacks that just root you in place like that. Well, so we just all the time that we just wasted with the encroachment there was for nothing. And look at this guy stomping the ground doing jack shit, then just getting guard broken. Wow! Oh my! Oh my god! That that was so annoying. That was so annoying. Him moving away, him guard breaking me. All of that was just one big annoyance. Come here. So now we shouldn't be guard broken. Yep, we can push through because we have the invincibility, which gives you super armor. And that's what you need to. Wow. Okay, he moved back into my forest. That's good, at least. Can't see the forest from the trees. Okay, come on. Bro, look how close I am. How am I close enough to trigger the skill, but not close enough to actually hit the target? Like, excuse me? Make that make sense to me, bro. I'm close enough to initiate the fourth skill, but none of the attacks are hitting. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I like Groot. I like the fact that he does good damage, but there's just too many limitations. Like him being constantly guard broken, mad annoying. The range on his tier 3, also an annoyance. Should be better. And then the, the range on his full skill, I also think is annoying. Should be better. So, definitely not perfect by any means. Like, look at that. My tier 3, all of it just pretty much missed. Okay, nice. Gonna have to go all the way behind this guy to dodge him. And then, oh my, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> what a joke, bro. What an actual joke. Wow. And what the hell is going on? I'm actually just mad annoyed right now. Yep, he just got killed, but he can revive. He might even get killed after the revive. Bro, this is this is mad annoying. Yeah, um, even though he has good damage, they screwed up. They screwed up, but they screwed up big time, bro. The range on his skills are so bad. Like, what the hell, dog? The range on his skills and him getting constantly guard broken no man no don't know you're pretty much at this point buying him just above star lord that's crazy he's not as bad as rocket out i would say but like, obviously he's better than rocket because rocket only gives you energy attack at least he can buff all of the guardians but like holy shoot dog and he gives you a heal as well for your, your guys but like this is just like a headache because look at this he's about to move again right yeah so that this time i actually can catch him up top there he might still kill me who knows but uh yeah that's annoying i wanted to do more but this run took so long and it frustrated me maybe i just need to get better you know like gg actually get good 24 hours playing with Groot. right now i'm gonna say Groot is definitely significantly better than i thought he would be just because none of Groot's previous uniform ever made him good for anything but just providing you with a heal which at this point it's not really worth much but at least this time it's a heal 
plus 40% extra damage to boss types. I think, however, they should have gone further because there's support characters in the game that are free to play like Groot. For example, Shuri gives you a way better passive and it applies to every single character in the game. In a game with 250 plus characters, then you have a passives like Groot that only applies to the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is very limiting. Never going to be more than maybe six or seven characters. I like the um, themed passives that buff characters with specific tags, but they need to be better when they're so niche. Like you guys need to go back to the drawing board and look at what you did for people like Abomination. Like for example, 20% chain hit damage, 45% extra damage to heroes and villains. You compare this to what they just gave the rocket or Groot? Come on, man. Any day of the week, people go, go for abomination. 